Getting up the next point, 10 a.m., you got a match. And how do those girls uh, kind of digest what you give them? Yeah, it's very challenging, actually. And that's, that's why we... Um, in those situations, we try not to overload them with a lot of information um, because of that. Um, but we're fortunate. This weekend, we had matches from their last weekend. So as coaches, we saw their three matches last weekend. And then the matches that we're seeing at the tournament um, are also good information. But um, I, in those situations, we try to just give as little information as possible. As coaches, we know a lot of information. And we're trying to communicate different things from the bench, like different systems. We want them to run defensively. They don't maybe know exactly everything that we know in each rotation. But by how we set them up, it helps them execute the defense according to what we think they're going to run. So it's not a lot of conference matches. They get a lot of information, and they know each kid upside down, inside out. And it's, it's very difficult to do that with three teams. How important is this next stretch? You're looking at eight matches in 10 days, and not only just getting ready for all those matches, but making sure that the team stays fresh enough to compete through that and be ready for conference. Yeah, that, that was the biggest uh, worry for me, actually, when setting up this schedule. But, you know, the opportunities to play uh, five of those matches at home is, is a pretty big deal. So we're excited about that. I think uh, that will help in terms of just being able to be home and be in our own beds and, and having that opportunity to not be on the road. Uh, but it is something that, you know, we as coaches realize the next week, week and a half, two weeks, we're not going to be doing a lot of getting better in practice in terms of different things we want to change just because we have to. The, the priority is that our kids are fresh and ready for these matches. Um, I, it'll be interesting because we've never done anything like this before. We've played a lot of matches in a short amount of time, but not this many. Um, and they're going to be great, tough matches. Um, I think you'll see us maybe using different people um, off the bench, being able to step in and, and help us out to give people a break. Um, we do have some depth in certain positions that I think can really help us, and I think we'll really be needed for the next couple weeks. When you have a team like number four, Kansas, on Saturday, how much time do you spend on them this week thinking, okay, things we do against them will work against Omaha and UMKC? Or do you not really prepare at all for a number four team before you play them? Uh, with two matches on Friday. Yeah, that's a good question. What we what we'll do is we will work on things that are Kansas, but we will not tell our team that's what we're working on. In fact, everything that we work on this week, um, we will not tell them what team during the practice that we're working on that for. Um, and then that kind of information will be given to them as we um, go into those matches. And that's how we handle actually every weekend tournament. We're doing a lot of things that are preparing them for the weekend, but they don't actually know uh, what teams we're preparing for at that time. Um, it's kind of the same thing even when we have the conference matches, because we have one match on Friday and the next on Saturday. You want to prepare for both, but the focus has to be on that match on Friday. So um, it is challenging, though. <laughs> And can you give us the particulars on the golf outing 